Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to look at how to properly light a scene with a Polygon HDR in Cinema 4D with Arnold. Okay, so this is the scene that we're going to be working in today. Um, it's a simple scene of a house. I've applied a sort of generic clay material to all of the objects in the scene and set up a camera, and that's about it. So let's jump to the camera to start off with. Next, we're going to add in a Arnold Sky, and this is what will light our scene. So let's get the Arnold interactive rendering going. There we go. And as you can see, the skylight is providing light to our scene. Good, it's working. So from within the properties of the Arnold Sky, we can now change color to texture and load in a texture. And we have a few to choose from. Um, a 2K EXR, a 16K EXR, and a 16K JPEG. I'll start off with the 16K EXR. Okay, and finally that uh, that loaded up. I actually had to pause the recording there um, while it processed the, uh, the huge 16K EXR, but we have lighting. So what we can do now is rotate around the sky and get the lighting that we want for our scene. And something like that is about right. Yeah, that looks good. So we have some problems. First of all, the 16K EXR is really taxing uh, my system, and I have quite a high spec system. Um, and also, we've got this backdrop problem where the <laughs> big kind of building in the background doesn't really tie in well with our scene. So, let's address both those problems. What I'm going to do is, again, in, within the Arnold Sky properties, go down to where it says camera and set that to zero. And that will remove the effect that this. Uh, file is having on our backdrop. Then what I'll do is change the texture that it's using to be the 2K EXR instead. And that should load in a lot quicker, which it did. And you'll notice that the, the actual quality of the lighting is the same, really. It's, <laughs> we, we've uh, drastically reduced the impact on our system, uh, but the, the end result in lighting is the same. So we don't need to use that big 16K EXR. Trouble is, if we were using it for the background, it would be very, very obvious that we're using a low resolution image. It would be blocky, and, and that's not what we want. So what we'll do is add in another Arnold Sky. Nope, there we go. And I'm going to give these a name at this point so we can keep track of what's going on. This is going to be our lighting, and this is going to be our backdrop. There we go. And now what I can do is turn down everything except the camera on this, on this new sky. So there we go. So now this new sky, the backdrop one, is literally only providing the background. All, the, all of the lighting is coming from that EXR in the first sky. So if I select that now, we can move that independently. If I start rotating around the lighting, I've still got full control over it, but it's not changing the background at all, which is perfect. That's what we want. What we'll do now is go up to the backdrop, change that to be a texture as well, like so. And we're going to load in the 16K JPEG. Now, even though that is a high resolution file, the file size is much, much smaller because of the way a JPEG is compressed. And it's why we can't use a JPEG for lighting. And now what we can do is rotate the backdrop to wherever it is we want it, which in my case will be about there. It's actually easier to use the, the viewport display. So if I put that to around there, we now have a nice high resolution sky in the backdrop with a low resolution EXR lighting our scene. So in summary, we've downloaded a HDR from polygon.com, brought in a low resolution EXR along with a high resolution JPEG into Cinema 4D via two separate sky uh, objects, positioned them correctly, and then rendered it out with Arnold. 